You're open to the possibility that President Trump could be very good for American economy, for American business. Yes. At the same time, there are some initiatives, uh, certainly on immigration and on trade, that may raise some questions. And you have a lot to say on immigration. What is your reaction to what President Trump is doing in immigration? Well, I, I think I'd prefer to start by saying that I am a great believer in immigration, that immigration is a self-selective process. The reason America is great is because we got the best of everybody from all over the world that came together to make up our country. Uh, I think it would be very, very bad policy to discourage immigration. Having said that, we also live in a country where there's a rule of law. And I've operated in parts of the world where there is no rule of law. The difference is extraordinary. Uh, so how do we, you know, deal with uh, a, a feeling of, of supporting immigration as something positive for our country and at the same time maintain our rules and our standards? We got ourselves in the pickle we're in right now because we had previous administrations who refused to enforce the law. Uh, so we now have 11 million or whatever number of illegal immigrants. I think it's something that has to be dealt with. Uh, I don't have enough knowledge or understanding and generally probably aren't a big fan of the concept of deportation. On the other hand, if the deportation was really limited to people with a criminal background, I'd have a hard time uh, disagreeing with that. Uh, but I think that uh, it, we, this has been a festering problem. Uh, you know, I remember when George Bush was elected and he was going to solve the immigration problem. And we've had, you know, subsequent periods, uh, you know, eight years of very lax uh, administration approach to it. I think it's something that uh, disturbs America, uh, disturbs what our, our own basic concept of fairness. Right. I mean, my parents came to this country four months before I was born. They came here legally. They went through all of the, you know, uh, hoops and, uh, and difficulties in order to be here legally. Uh, I'm not sure that's a bad standard. No, as you suggest, I mean, there are the ideals and then there are the realistic alternatives. Uh, if you were to take, it's estimated 8 million of the 11 million are working age and are working in the economy. If you were to take them all of the economy right now, it would really do damage to the economy. Uh, so is there a route to make sure that they can be incorporated legally into the economy? Now, I'm not talking about criminals, but people who are hardworking people in construction, in the leisure industry. Is there a route to do that without deporting them all? Well, I don't know that there is a route that is currently in place. More important question is, should there be a route? Right. And uh, I don't have any problem with the idea that there should be a route, as long as we don't uh, create a massive moral hazard. Mm. I mean, when you see uh, undocumented children unaccompanied by parents being put on trains to cross the U.S. border because we have a policy that doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, that disturbs me a lot. 